actually do get dressed up from time to time. Even though it's, wow, it's really wrinkly. Really, really wrinkly. Whee! And of course, bomber jacket. I used to wear these all the time in high school. I used to love them. I've actually worn this one in a while, but I figured why the hell not bust it out. Really, really nice. And then just going with some simple straight leg flexit jeans and some loafers, I guess, what they are, so. Yeah. Well, hello, YouTube family. Greg D here, back with another video. And yes, I'm sure it is a little weird to see me in actual clothes and not in gym clothes, but I do actually have um, uh, a job interview with my current job, um, if that makes any sense. Basically, they're interviewing for a, uh, a team leader or shift supervisor position, which... Um, if I get it would be a 10% raise. So, I mean, nothing, it's nothing like too, like crazy, but you know, every little bit helps at this point and every little, you know, every extra, you know, few dollars of paycheck that I can make, uh, will obviously be able to help not only myself, but my family as well. So, you know, as, as, as much as I don't want to be stuck in my current job, um, I also need to do what I need to do um, in order to, uh, you know, make sure that my family is taken care of. And um, this by no means means that I'm going to, I'm, I'm giving up on the personal trainer certification or anything like that. I'm still working on that. Um, and as I mentioned before, uh, I'm still planning on getting myself an online coach, whether that be um, Christian Guzman or Chelsea Lifts or um, you know, any of those, um, fitness YouTubers, but, um, you know, like I just got it, like I said before, I just have to get some finances in order, in order to, uh, be able to do that. So right now I'm off to that job interview. And then we have, um, gym day, which is close grip bench and deadlift day. Um, deadlifting, I believe we're working up to either 80 or 85% of our one rep max, and for um, uh, close grip bench, we're just doing basically volume work just to help out um, our bench. We have to do you know, like four or five sets of you know just getting volume in, and then doing the accessory work, which obviously entails you know um, chest flies and uh, things of that nature. So uh, enough of me rambling. Uh, Got to go get this job. And, uh, uh, yeah, I'm definitely rambling at this point. So, uh, we'll see you guys in the next clip. Well, that was pretty interesting. Typical interview, you know, asking you the same typical questions and what do you think you bring to the job and how do you think you can make, uh, the organization, the program, whatever it is better, that type of thing. And, you know, I feel like I did pretty well. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, if I do get it, it's 10% raise. If I don't get it, then, you know, maybe it wasn't meant to be. And, you know, just uh, go back to the drawing board and see what happens. But um, we are headed home. Uh, then I go change. Uh, then probably go out to lunch with the wife. Um, run a couple errands. Go to the gym. Like I said, it is close grip bench and deadlift day. Uh, so we'll take you along the ride. So stay tuned. Fellow nerds rejoice. Got myself a headset for gaming. So now I can be a total, total nerd. So did a quick little short workout at home. And followed up, we're going to be doing one of these cliff builder bars. They look good, chocolate hazelnut. So have decent macros too. 20 grams protein will be good. Let's see. Here's the damn thing. Here it is. So, one bar is 280 calories, 10 fat, 28 carb, 20 protein. Not bad. So, good post workout meal there. So, uh, whew, whew. Oh, and yes, I did do a workout at home just to switch it up. And plus, two, I didn't, uh, by the time that I was able to go to the gym, it was like right after work. 
for most people on a Friday. And I was like, uh, probably be too busy. And didn't really feel like being around a bunch of people. So uh, I kind of simplified my workout for uh, what I have here at home. Um, just try to do like lighter weights, higher reps. Still try to get something in. Um, then tomorrow will be off day. And then someday we start with week three of this four week cycle where we'll be most likely working with like 90% of our one rep maxes. So, Well, there you have it. Another fun-filled, exciting day of the life of me. Woo. Uh, one thing I've noticed about uh, doing the, the workout at home today is I'm, I'm feeling very sore. Um, and, it's, and I think it's because of, you know, the extra range of motion that comes with using um, the free weights. Um, you know, and I'm not used to doing uh, a workout like that, so I think it's adding to uh, me being extra sore because uh, I can like feel it already. And I'm, I usually don't get this sore um, after workouts at the gym, but today it's like feeling like, oh my goodness gracious, that's it, it hurts. But uh, I think that it is, uh, I think this is going to conclude this video. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching, as always. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the video. It really helps out my channel. And until next time, we will see you guys soon. Oh, and just a friendly reminder. Yes, you can kick your own ass by doing workouts at home. Don't let anyone tell you differently. If you have to work out from home, then do it. If you can go to the gym, then do it. Find what you like. Stick with it. Make the gains and enjoy it. All right, guys. Now, this time for real. I will see you next time soon. And don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe.